Keegan and Chris, their relationship is a, is a special one. The way that they support each other, but also nip at each other, complain about the other one. Um, there's always like some subtle jabs that they'll have and you can kind of get them going. We butt heads over everything, like stuff around the house. In school, like we always try to have a better GPA than one another on the basketball court sometimes. Try keep it, we try to keep that as constructive as we can. If I lose, I want to keep going, uh, but he'll tell you, he thinks he's beat me more one-on-one, -on -one, but I, uh, that's, that's his opinion. I'm one minute older than he is. Um, I've always kept that um, on his head, so uh, it's a little bit of bragging rights around the house and just in general. Uh, he's always gonna be the younger brother. Three for Murray. His brother with a rebound. Keegan Murray to the rim! They're different, way more different than I think most people would think. And you can kind of see that on the floor. Chris thinks more about some things. There was times when I would, and I've talked to him about this, just, just go hoop. Don't overthink this, this thing. It, it's not complicated, you're really good. I kind of try to keep that mindset. I just bring energy and effort. I can also stretch the floor and uh, hit shots. Um, I'd probably say I'm a little better shear than he is. He may not say so, but uh, we'll, we'll let the stream percentages count at the end of the year. As Murray will hit the three, not Keegan, but Chris Murray. Keegan just kind of plays. He doesn't rattle. You know, he doesn't get excited. You know, the, the, the point of the game, the crowd, home, road, and he just plays. I feel like any time I step on the court, I'm the best player. I mean, that's just the one of the mindsets that I've taken on this season. And Murray with the steal. Read that pass. Can the Gophers get back? No! The Pilfer, then the punch. I mean, he's a freak athlete. You, you got to start there. Like, last year, we would make fun of him because it's like, bro, like, you don't even know how bouncy you are. He would lay the ball up sometimes and his elbow's above the rim. Bro, go dunk the ball. You don't realize how high you are. Sanford lobbed down low Murray with the dunk. As much as Keegan does get the attention, I think Chris is okay, maybe flying under the radar a little bit. You know, I think it's just, Chris thinks of it as maybe it's, it's Keegan's turn right now and then they're twins, so it'll be his turn next. <laughs> And the lob inside to Chris Murray, back out to his brother Keegan for a three. It is good. He's got 12. There's no jealousy. I mean, everyone probably wishes they could average 24 a game and whatever he's averaging or something like that. But we butt heads sometimes, but uh, he's probably one of my best friends. We do everything together and just push each other to be the best we can. Iowa basketball, the University of Iowa, is part of our DNA as far as who we are. We built our family here. Um, I've been here since 1992. Part of the trouble, you see the numbers for Kenyon Murray. One thing you'll see tonight, uh, Iowa leads the big When we were young, he'd turn a lot of VHS tapes of him playing at Iowa. After dinner, we'd go down and just sit there and watch him. I might have rewound it a couple times to show them some of the, the highlights of mine, but more than anything, it was just a way for them to learn the game like I learned the game. Having that experience with him, uh, it meant a lot to him, and honestly, it meant a lot to me. Bartle, nice feed to I saw them play when they were in fourth grade, so that's how long I've known them. I mean, I recruited Kenyon when I was an assistant at, at Notre Dame. Kenyon came to my press conference, Dad was hired, and I spoke to him, and then you know, stayed relatively close because we were in gyms with our children all the time. Both Connor and Patrick felt like, hey, these two kids are really good. A lot of other people weren't saying that about them at the time, but it really was a matter of growth. They had a lot of opportunities at the Division II level to play together right away, but I think they felt that they could be better players. Iowa was the first ones to jump on us and recruit us pretty heavily. Fran, uh, he was one of those coaches that really believed in me. He treated me and my brother as individuals and knew that we, were, we probably weren't going to be able to play right away, but he, we'd be able to grow as a player here. Uh, and that was just what I needed to make the decision to come to Iowa. And that happened early on in my prep year. It was a right fit for me. 
They kept their heads down. They knew that they had to do this over the long haul to be able to, to play at this level and then to have it be Iowa was just icing on the cake. And so we're happy that they're here and we're happy that they're together. Having them here at Iowa is, is a dream come true for them and then also for us as a family. Chris's name means a lot. Chris is named after one of my best friends, Chris Street, who was one of the greatest Hawkeyes ever played here. He didn't have any brothers, so I was kind of a little brother to him. And I told my wife when we met, first boy, he's gonna be named Christopher. I actually called Patty and asked her, we were talking about keeping K names, would it be okay if we honored Chris? by naming our firstborn after him, but changing, you know, first couple letters. And obviously Patty was like, absolutely, absolutely. I knew that Chris, he understood, you know, what his name meant, not because of, that he was a friend of mine, but just because of what people thought of him in the state and, can, and still think of Chris Street in the state. He reminds me a lot of Chris, you know, he was one of those guys that came in and was kind of, gangly and skinny when he got here, but he, he kept his head down, he grinded, he never made any excuses. And I think my Chris has embodied Chris Street in that way of being a grinder, a workhorse, and doing the little things to be on the floor and help the team win. It's probably the biggest honor that he could be honoring Chris with is wearing the University of Iowa jersey and, and playing the way that he's played this year.